Salim is a caseworker for an NGO called Together for Children. She's at home with her family when she receives a referral call through the NGO hotline. The call is from a nurse at a public health post where a nine-year-old girl called Leila Sarwan received treatment for a wound. But what concerned the nurse was that Leila came in on her own and seemed very distressed. When she calmed down, the nurse found out she was selling tissues on the street to support her family. The girl's mother came to collect her and the nurse asked her for a contact number. Hello. Hello. Am I speaking to Mrs. Lu Jane Sarwan? Yes. Hello, Mrs. Sarwan. My name is Sarah Salim and I work for a local organization called Together for Children. I was given your contact details by a colleague at the health post where Leila was treated. Is it a good moment to talk? I'm not sure why you would want to talk to me. Well, normally I would have come by your home to speak to you and Leila face to face. But unfortunately, with the COVID restrictions, this is not possible. I'm hoping that over the phone we can get to know each other and decide whether we could support yourself and Leila somehow. Oh! Our organization provides services that can help you and Leila, and we can decide whether connecting you with these services would be of use. We refer to this whole process as case management, and it's offered to children who may be vulnerable for various reasons. Have you heard of these services being provided to others in your community? Yes, but case workers reach out to very troublesome families. Case management is not only for troublesome families, but also to those families and children that are experiencing challenging times. We can decide together on a plan that is suitable for you and Leila. What do you think? Yes, sure. Sorry, I'm a little tired today. I'm sorry I caught you at a bad moment. I hope you and your family are okay. Well, my husband is sick with COVID and he's in an isolation facility. Luckily, he was not at home when he got the virus. He has also lost his job. I'm really worried about his health but also how I'm going to feed Leila and her four siblings. I'm sorry to hear about this. It's an extremely difficult situation. Are you in touch with your husband? Yes, we talk every day. He seems to be doing a little better. Well, that is at least a step forward and I'm sure that keeping in contact will also help him. Is there anyone in the community you can talk to? Keeping social distancing in mind? My neighbor and I sometimes speak over the wall. I hope you can keep meeting with your neighbor and now you will also have us listen to your concerns. I want you to know that anything we talk about is confidential unless there is a risk to you or your children. Do you have any questions? No, not right now. Okay, I'd like to talk with Leila now, if that's okay. Sure. Leila? Hello. Hi Leila, my name is Sarah Salim. I'm a caseworker for an organization called Together for Children. Hi. I'm sorry I can't come talk to you face to face, but it's difficult at the moment with COVID. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I know things are tough at the moment. Your mom is okay with us working together to come up with a plan to support you and your family but I would like to make sure you're fine with this as well. Ah, yes, sure. You don't have to talk about anything you don't want to, okay? I also want you to know I won't be sharing anything you say with other people without asking your permission, unless you're in danger. Okay. All right, I'm going to ask you a few questions and I would really appreciate it if you would answer them honestly and openly so we can find out together the best way to support you and your family. Sure. Is it okay for us to talk right now? Yes. How is your wound? Is it painful? It was sore yesterday, but it's a bit better today. How did you get hurt? I fell when I was walking home as it was quite dark. 
You were coming back home in the dark. May I ask what you were doing? I was selling tissues in the street. Do you do it often? Yes, it's a way to help the family. Were you alone in the street? No, I was with a group of other children. Is it safe out there? Yes, when it's daylight and there are other people around. You should stay close to people, but with COVID, that's a risk as well. Do you wear a mask when you're selling items in the streets? And do you wash your hands often? No, I don't have a mask. And there aren't many places to wash your hands on the streets. Are you going to school regularly? Not since my father lost his job. I'm sorry to hear your dad lost his job. Are your mom and dad okay with you working on the street? Yes, but they tell me it's only for a little while till my dad can find something. But now my dad has got COVID and some other children found out and they... <laughs> it's very difficult. Take a deep breath. They have been hitting me with sticks and telling me that I have COVID. I am really sorry about the other children. No one is to blame for getting sick. Is there somewhere else you could go to sell which is well lit and safe? But away from the children who hurt you? Yes, a bit further away. Okay, let's agree that you will sell from this new spot and let's arrange for you to get a mask and hand sanitizer. Also, please do not ever walk alone home late at night. Are you able to come back before dark? Yes. Okay, so here's our plan. You move to a new spot and get home before dark. I will arrange a mask and sanitizer at the local pharmacy tomorrow and your mom can pick it up. In a few days, we can have another call to see how you are doing. I can set up an appointment with your mom. Does this work? Yes. You can also have my phone number in case you need to talk to me or one of my colleagues. It's 078-965-4321. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you very much, Leila. It was good to talk to you. Can I speak to your mom again, please? Sure. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Sarwan. It was good to talk to Leila. She mentioned she's having some trouble with other children on the street. Yes, I'm uncomfortable with this whole situation, but Leila needs to help us get some money for the basic things we need. I understand. Do you think a different selling spot and coming home before dark would help her be safer? Yes, I think that might help. I am also wondering if we can set another time to chat and see if there are other solutions. Is there a more suitable time and day? Next week, same day and time. Would I use the same number? Yes, please. Great. In the meantime, I can arrange masks and hand sanitizer for Leila and yourself at the nearest pharmacy. Which one is that? Abdel's Pharmacy. Okay, please arrange to visit Abdel's Pharmacy tomorrow afternoon. Sure, thank you. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Sarwan. I will be calling you on Tuesday next week at 7 p.m. Thank you, Sarah. Bye. Bye.